All right, first question. How did I really put in the hard work? You go first, Brad. Well, at practice, you were always striving to do what's next of you, or you're always asking coach what you can do to be better, to get faster, to meet with the other competitors. In track and field, I would say, since it was my first year, I was very, it was a struggle, especially when we did um, runner's club. Runner's club was a little, not hard, but it was one of the first things I actually did running. So I always just straight finish, always end hard. That's what I would say. All right, uh, second question. How did I really get up in the morning and what made him a good leader in cross country? Well, cross country, we all had to wake up early, but you were always on time. You showed up, did the extra mile. You raced the warm up fairly hard. You raced the workout probably faster than race pace, to be honest. And yeah, you just put an extra mile. You're very encouraging to everyone else. In track, I would say, since I wasn't in cross country, I would say that you were always on time. During track, you're always asking coach what you needed to fix, and you're always trying to improve. All right, a uh, third question, all right? What made people inspired him to put in the hard work throughout the season for cross country and track and field? And what made them want to push harder as Tristan did, kind of like Michael Jordan did? Well, I know you always talked about the other competitors you wanted to be. So that was definitely a drive for you to get faster. And then, at least for me, when I saw you like getting faster and just ignoring everything getting faster, that kind of pushed me to be like, well, hey, if you can do it, I can do it. So I tried to get faster because I saw you just like putting in the hard work. Like it didn't matter. I agree. I always saw you as a good leader. You're always trying to push, do better, always do better. Even if you think you're doing your best, the best you can, and you can always improve, and that's what you did. All right, fourth question, all right? All right. all right. Okay, good question, all right? How did Tristan pace with you, Brayden, and Evan, and Josh Weber for the cross country workout? And how did he manage to help the team for the four by four relay team for track and field season, Alex? Well, for cross country, you were definitely the faster out of all of us by far, but you paced right in front of us. It was always close enough to where we thought we could catch you. So we were always striving to get faster. When we kept caught up to you, you went faster. So in the long run, we ran a crap ton faster because you were pushing us. And in the four by four, you were like, I would say since I've cut down a lot of time this, this for my first track season and I would say watching you run the 4x4 and being on your team in the 4x4 has helped me improve in running my 400 meter. All right, good question. All right, fifth, all right. How did Tristan had to dig for it and how did he had to work harder and harder each day in the morning before he got MVP and before he became the state champion from that very day moment. For cross country, um, I don't know. Sorry, there's people behind me. Go ahead. So you had to dig, especially during cross country, because there are people running just as fast as you. And your goal from like day one of cross country was to win state. That was just it. And I don't think you're gonna let anyone else beat you because you were 100% faster than them, but you still had to push through the pain to get first. All right, what about you, Alex? What made him had a good season throughout a uh, track and field season? I would say throughout track and field, you were, especially from what I heard from Coach Finger, since last year was your last Sorry, was last year was your first track and field season, correct? Yes. Uh, coach For said, coach said you were always you were doing sprinting at the start, 
And then you improved and later on you were able to start doing long distance and actually do 30, 200, and 1600 meter. And I would say you improved on all, all of that. And instead of just sticking to one thing, you improved on everything you did. All right, a uh, good question, all right? All right, I'm trying to think of a better question to ask this. All right, what made y'all guys, made him want to push harder throughout cross country or track and field season? What made y'all guys want to make him push harder throughout cross country or track and field season? At least for cross country, I knew you were capable of running to the 16s. And I actually wanted to see how fast you could run, to be honest. But like, every race, my first thing was not to check my scores, but check your scores just to see how fast you run. Because I was super curious, because you're insanely fast. Yeah, especially in uh, track and field, especially this season, everyone, every single track meet was always going on milesplit.com and always checking, hey, what was your 600 meter like? What was your times? Everyone was focused, especially the parents were very concerned about your times. And every time I would see you run, I would cheer you on, make sure you push harder and actually and hard at the end. What made him want to keep grinding throughout cross country and track and field season throughout this year? What made him want to keep grinding and keep putting in the hard work for all the dedication he has done for y'all. Uh, to my state. I would also say that you were also dedicated because you had friends around you. They were also putting in hard effort and the coach when you were there for you, and so was Coach Hargrove, and everyone was cheering you on, everyone, and that, I think that was, that's what helped you be dedicated in the sport. All right. What made Mr. Winger put Tristan in harder competitors to make him get better. Well, if you're with faster people, you're going to want to beat them, and subconsciously you're going to be running faster because you're running with a naturally faster group. And whether you know it or not, when you're passing people, you gain adrenaline and run faster. Yeah, and within it's especially essentially in within the sport, you're always wanting to get better, especially when you're placed in harder teams, and that's. The point of being placed in hot, harder places because you need to get better, you need to learn, you need to train, you need to train as them, and then beat them. All right, what was it like when y'all guys had the whole team in cross country, and Tristan and Evan or Josh and you, Braden, when y'all guys had ups and downs lately? How does this relate to you? Like, how did, how did the cross country, how did our team have ups and downs lately? Well, it was very hot <clears throat> at the beginning of cross country season, so we were all running slower. And then I think it was the second time we went to the buff, which is in Fort Worth. That's when, like, we all pr and stuff like that. So that was probably, like, the turning point in our season when everyone else started running a lot faster. What about you, Alex? I didn't run cross country, but I'm. All I was, right. I would say in uh, track and field, especially when you guys were running warm up, you're always pushing as hard as you can. While Tristan, Evan, and sorry, well, Braden, Evan, and Josh were always trying to become like you and get faster like you. All right. Uh, thank you for your guys' time. Yeah, See fine. you and bye.